from passing on germs to a concept going viral. Universal basic income pays people whether they work or not. And it's gotten endorsements from the likes of Elon Musk, Richard Branson, and Mark Zuckerberg. Jimmy Rhodes has the basics of the basic income. Hey, Jimmy, what's the deal? To get money, you have to work, right? Well, not if you give the controversial concept of universal basic income a try. It must be unconditional, it must be adequate, and it must allow people to live with dignity and autonomy to make their own choices. Universal basic income, or UBI, isn't welfare, which has income conditions. It's not minimum wage either, which requires a job. According to Sheila Reguer of the Basic Income Canada Network, it's completely unconditional dough for everyone. There are no strings attached. A pilot program in Finland pays about 650 bucks a month and will release its findings next year. So whether you're pro or con, you'll have the data to argue with. In the meantime, here's the ABCs of UBI. First, the elephant in the room. We'll never leave the couch. Providing income to people will make them lazy. People will watch video games all day. Proponents say less financial stress has the opposite effect. The evidence says people work the same or more, not less. UBI supporters also say it addresses problems such as income inequality. If we don't stop this, income inequality is going to get worse faster and faster. Giving a basic living wage to everyone would put a floor on income, limiting inequality from at least one side of the spectrum. Next, Sheila says basic income would increase employment mobility. It provides people with more options. Ever feel trapped in your gig because you couldn't take the steps to find something better? UBI would theoretically give workers that out. They are able to stay in school longer. They are able to take the risk of going back to school to retrain. They are able to take the risk of moving to find a job or the risk of trying to develop their own enterprise. So it supports entrepreneurship as well. The idea is that people would seek out jobs they really want, which means happier, more productive workers. Finally, backers say UBI would compensate unpaid economic contributors. Here's what that means. We talk about employment and work as if they're the same thing. Work is a much broader concept. Every day, all kinds of socially important work gets done for free. Taking care of children, looking after elderly parents. Let's be real, it's mostly women, so UBI would address the gender pay gap. Plus issues such as domestic violence, its victims won't feel financially trapped. Will it solve every problem? Heck no, but it's an emerging idea worth understanding. The basics of basic income is what's the deal.